We are now a couple months into our brand new decade. And when it comes to the economy and real estate, there still seems to be more questions than there are answers. Such as, when will this current economic growth that we've been on for over 10 plus years that so many people have taken advantage of, when will it end? And when it does, will it be a brief little sudden stop? Or will it be a gradual dip? Or is it just gonna be a flat out crap? So how can property managers and investors prepare for 2020 and further? So in this video, I wanted to focus on the topics. What's the biggest question on your mind? How can a recession affect me? Of course, I meant you by that. So let's go ahead and dig into these topics. When will a recession hit and what are the triggers? How could it affect housing prices? and how regulations will impact rental owners and property managers. So all of this, so stay tuned. My name is Steve Arthur. I am a realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. Now, if this is your first time seeing me here on YouTube, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell for future notifications because every single week i put out videos about long beach where you want to eat live play and sleep all the fun stuff you want to know about long beach and i absolutely just think it, it is so cool when people get hold of me through this channel this week alone i've been talking to alberta canada and uh, south bend or dame so it's just been it's fun i just i just think it's so so cool anyways these topics let's go ahead and get started a recession is very possible for 2020 but more likely at the end of 2021 but the great news here is this time it will not be caused by a real estate market crash so as we're continuing down this growth this economic growth that we have been on for the last 10 plus years of course recession talks are to be expected but even the experts in this industry are at a split as to when this may happen now zillow even surveyed a hundred experts now 50 percent of them said within 2020 this will happen and 35% of them said, eh, 2021. Wait a minute, 50, 35, they did 100, that's 85. Yeah, that's Zillow, it never adds up. Now, 41% of the people interviewed from Bankrate Corporation, they said it's probably gonna happen before the presidential election. What? And 38% for the National Association of Economics Business say in 2020, while another 35% there say in 2021. So it's kind of an even split there. Those are just a few examples. Now, we know from history that no two recessions unfold in the same manner. So to help to see what's ahead, it helps to put aside any memories of the 2008 market crash. Over this past decade, we have grown at a moderate pace. So when a recession does hit, it will not come to a big dramatic crisis like it did last time. It will be more of a graduate slowdown with stricter regulations in effect to prevent these types of mistakes from happening again. As of right now, the economy is sending out positive signals. The yield curve commonly used as a predictor for a recession is headed in the right direction. The stock market is thriving right now and wages are growing at a steadier pace than in recent years, helping to strengthen consumers purchasing power. So when consumers, investors and businesses, they all cut back on their spending, the economy consequently slows down. 
Just remember though, a recession is a natural part of the economic cycle. Think of it kind of as a pressure relief valve. Here in California, eh, we just call them earthquakes. Now, because the last recession was caused by the housing market crash, a lot of people tend to associate a recession with falling home prices. However, in markets that have found themselves at a breaking point, put themselves at great distance between income and housing costs. A recession could make things even worse. Now, we know there is a mismatch between the housing that American people need and the housing that's actually being built right now. So what's causing this shortfall of an estimated 1 million units right now? So over the last decade, tariffs on building materials have made it more expensive to build new homes. And with a labor shortage, it's, made, it's limited the amount of homes to be built. Now as a result, the investors, developers, and builders had to devote their resources to more profitable ranges, such as pricier homes and condos. Therefore, what it's done is led us with a big overabundance of luxury homes and a very severe shortage of low to medium priced homes. And a recession? Well, that could really hurt that. On one hand, it seems to be a simple supply versus demand equation where the low to medium priced homes are still gonna be in strong demand, but gonna raise those prices up further. But on the other hand, the demand may drop as a recession may prevent more Americans from buying a home due to these rapidly rising prices. So if interest rates stay as low as they have been, it could boost a faltering housing market. However, Entering a recession with interest rates this low gives the Federal Reserve one less lever to pull in case of financial difficulties down the road. Now, for the investor looking to grow your portfolio, well, the uncertain of the future of home price growth makes it very hard to predict whether you should buy now or wait it out. Low interest rates in years of price appreciation, that's a great incentive to buy sooner than later. But persistently low cap rate and the potential for a cooling market are really causing some second guessing. Will price growth hit its limit in 2020? Or will the continually housing shortage worsen by a recession and drive prices metaphorically through the roof. Hold on everybody. Here it comes. Will property managers and investors pull back on their spending until the prices cool down? Now a recession in the horizon can cause a lot of anxiety for potential future home buyers. And I get it, trust me, I get it. It's a big step and you get nervous not to buy a home during a recession, leaving young renters in the rental market longer and raising renting as a new possibility for people who otherwise could afford homes. Even without a recession, straining your paycheck, buying a home for many people may seem out of reach thanks to factors such as home appreciation outpaces your savings capacity, high home prices, student loans. So since the last recession happened, a new demographic has formed in the market, and that is renters by choice. Now these are people who can afford to buy a home, but prefer not to. What they wanna do is live in the downtown lifestyle, live by all the amenities, the clubs, the this and that live the high uh, the high rise condo life or whatever. So they rent that lifestyle. But there is one segment in the rental market that is for sure going to see demand drop over time, particularly in event of a recession. Class A rentals, that's your high rise luxury. Again, my name is Steve Arthur. I am a local realtor here in the Long Beach and the surrounding cities. If you got any questions about the video, if you liked it, enjoyed it, 
you've got some comments you disagree with it go ahead and leave them down below or get hold of me if you have some more questions about this because I just touched them I didn't go deep deep into the into the topics okay um, so if you want any more information about it please just get hold of me I think it is absolutely so cool when people get hold of me through this channel like I said earlier I was talking to Alberta Canada and Notre Dame so it's just pretty cool talking everywhere people coming in and I get to meet them first talk to them first about California so it's just it's really cool so if you got any questions comments if you need any realtor state needs if you know anybody that needs any real estate needs just give me a call I'm pretty laid back all right well you take care and until next time